Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. We will begin with developing information concerning the woman suspected of literally drinking and driving and then plowing into a crew of first responders, killing a Lower Marion firefighter. A short time ago, CBS3 obtained these arrest papers filed against Jacqueline Walker. She is the Little Egg Harbor woman seen right there, charged with vehicular homicide by DUI in the death of firefighter Thomas Royds. The paperwork lays out in detail how Walker was seen crashing into emergency crews on the shoulder of I-76. Police say immediately after the deadly collision, Walker was heard repeatedly saying, Oh my God, before they say she dumped out a cup filled with brown liquid. Arrest papers claim she had purchased a bottle of rum, was lost and was behind the wheel making alcoholic drinks in the time leading up to the deadly crash. In a purported statement to prosecutors, Walker claimed her brakes wouldn't work and estimated she was driving 40 miles an hour. The documents also say she told police she thought the crash happened at 5 p.m. In actuality, it was 3 in the morning. Tonight, arrest papers show two other firefighters and a state trooper suffered severe injuries. We are withholding their names at this time. 